guys, Debo here. Just got done doing yesterday the Supporter Sunday uh, number two, which was on seven twelve. Uh, I'm sorry, seven twelve of two thousand fifteen, or basically uh, July twelfth, two thousand fifteen. Uh, next week we got a Supporter Sunday number three because, like I said, we're doing this every Sunday. It's going to be falling on July the nineteenth, so making sure you guys stop by and uh, you know check it out. Uh, I'm going to leave the five games which I, th I want to play or are basically five games that I'm going to be playing next week on Sunday. The way it works is I select three games that I want to play or things that might be interesting people might want to see. And then I always leave the last two slots open for its suggestions. And whatever suggestion is or whichever game people want to see me play the most, that will be the game I play on the Supporter Sunday. Uh, the first Supporter Sunday I end up playing Left 4 Dead 2. Then I put up the polls, and then basically Dead Space won for the second week. So uh, this is going to be, uh, after I get done talking right here and give a couple shout-outs, it's going to go ahead and start uh, the Dead Space 2 uh, highlights from uh, everything that happened. I uh, ended up playing that game for 11 hours. It was pretty nuts. It was uh, very enjoyable. But anyways, uh, shout-outs to all the subscribers, all the Patreon members. Again, if you're a Patreon member, you want me to give you a shout-out or be able to put your name on the list inside the YouTube uh, description section. Uh, just let me know what your Twitch tag is, because I don't want to, uh, on uh, Patreon, they uh, put your full name, and I don't want to put all your information out there. Outside of all that, all the subscribers, app subscribers, thank you so much for keeping the support on the stream. Uh, their names are in the description. Uh, and also, outside of that, a uh, couple donations for the people of uh, Since Last Subscriber Sunday. I just want to give a shout out to some people. Uh, I'm Too Frosty, uh, Alan the Piano Polisher, of course, Fist of Bic, uh, Kona Hula. Uh, thank you so much for you guys' contributions and keeping the stream going. Uh, but uh, that's pretty much about it. I will see you guys uh, next week on Next Subscriber Sunday. Make sure you guys leave and vote what game you guys want to see me play. And outside all that, uh, as always, I'm Debo, and uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. So fresh. Get up!
no, no, no. Too bad. You thought you were bad, huh? Motherfucker. Make me waste all my precious bullets. Big motherfucker, you ain't shit now, huh? That's right. I can stash this lot to you because I'm a pro. Ooh, more bullets. $10,000. Woo! I'm gonna give me that new suit. Damn, two and ten thousand dollars? I'm straight balling. You know how I like to live? I gotta get that suit upgrade. Yes. I'm gonna be looking play gonna be looking fabulous. Oh, goodbye level two uh, armor. Hello level three armor. Ten thousand dollars. Oh, I'm gonna be looking so stylish. Oh, I look so stylish. Now I look like how it looks inside the game cover. Look at that. And I got more item slots. Rocking that gold. Got that gold plate. Hmm, okay. Let me see. Whoa. Whoa! Calm your ass down! Where the fuck he come from? I'm trying to shop and you just want to come up to a brother. You just mad because you don't got the new suit yourself. Woo! Ooh -hoo -hoo! This upgraded plasma cutter is the shit! <laughs> Talking all that shit, huh? <laughs> yes. Isaac, I can smell the contaminated air from here. It's spreading faster than I expected. I'm trying to isolate it. But it's not gonna buy us much time. No shit. We have to get that thing off the ship. Oh, really? The chemicals we need are in the chemistry lab. Oh, now I gotta play chemist. Isaac, can you just go and get these chemicals and mix them up? I'm not a chemist, I'm an engineer. She got me doing all type of stuff I don't wanna do. Fighting kind of crazy monsters I don't wanna fight. Black man, watermelons. Black man, watermelons. The only thing that's keeping this from being questionably racist is that they put him next to the pumpkins. But look, he's still facing the watermelons. All this watermelon. All this watermelon in hand's reach. At least if you die in this room, sir, you'd be able to look at all the watermelons. I see what they did there. Very clever. 